Over here, you can see that there's two tables. And what you can do is you can take a common field like console right here and then make sure that uh, the price and discount displays out uh, in a singular table. So in that case, what you can do is you can use something called blended data option. So to do that, you can go around and then click on add a chart and then click on table and then click uh, that out right here, just like this. So instead of this data source, I'm just going to remove that. I'm going to click on blend data. So here you can go around and select out a data source just like this. And you can see that this is what you have. The dimension is available right now, but I want it to be console. So I'm just going to keep that as console. I don't want the record count, but I want the price right here. So I'm going to go around and keep the price in the dimension as well. Now I'm going to click on join another table. And in this case, I'm going to select out discount right here. And over here, what I want is I want the discount information. You can go around and then uh, go to the condition. And here you can see it detected console as the common field right here. So right now it is taking the left table as the main table right here and then right table as the uh, source for new data. Similarly, you can make the right data uh, table the main source or just inter intersect so that any extra information is removed out. Only the data in both of the tables remain. But I want uh, the data to be added on the left table. If you want to add in data from both of the table, you can cross it out or fully go outer as well. But I'm just going to stick to left outer now and click on save. And over here, you can see that the new blended data is console, discount and price now. So if I were to click on save, what will happen is that it'll take the console um, and discount from this table and price from this table, as you can see. And here you have a new data set altogether. So you, instead of needing multiple tables, even from different data sources, you can see that you can create a same table just like that. And that is how you can use the blend data option inside of Google Data Studio. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.